I'm going to demonstrate how I remove or thin down the uh, outer line that I created um, each of these feathers with. Um, I used a thin stroke of paint and a and a round Kalinske um, just to lay them in and now I'm coming back and cleaning up and shaping each one of these feathers with a clean wet brush. Um, you can see how thick uh, this feather line is here. I'm going to take and just bring it right up to the edge and make it a nice thin feather line for the back edge of this feather. These will mostly be covered up when I come back with my white paint, but I want to have it be subtle and not these hard dark lines because they're going to represent more of a shadow than uh, the actual color of, a fe of the feather because these have soft edges on the outer edge. When I come back with white it'll soften these up even more but right now we just want to take off the overpaint and thin them down. And once these are clean, I'll come back and add additional feather detail once the whites have been applied for the color variations. And I'll see this light, this one's really quite thick. So I'm going to thin the whole thing down coming up from both sides. Just so I leave an impression of where a feather is going to be. Same thing here. So you can change your mind when you're using the uh, Traditions paint. Some people like using the extender um, I don't find I really need it all that much and would rather just use it straight out of the bottle with water. You can actually reshape a feather maybe you didn't lay in as well as you should have but that's the beauty you can change your mind you can be messy and come back and clean up I don't know I don't know if I could do it and start clean and remain clean the whole way so This makes it easy for those of us who can't. Soften that line a bit. I think that's pretty good for these initial feather lines. <laughs> 